Hey everyone, in the past few weeks, we've seen people around the world using technology in new ways uh, to try to help each other. And we have a front row seat to watch people do that with Glide. And we've seen hundreds of apps built on our platform um, just in the last three weeks, all dedicated to helping people deal with the uh, coronavirus crisis. And we asked our community members on our forum to share their apps so we could share them more broadly. And we made an app uh, with their submissions. I think there's around 75 different apps in it now. And I wanted to quickly walk through a few uh, notable apps that we've seen just so you could get a sense of what people are doing with Glide uh, to try to help each other during these times. Um, so the first three apps I wanted to show are in a category we would call sort of local community info apps. And from the macro to the micro, uh, this is a, a UK coronavirus info app um, with uh, government guidelines and up-to-date news information, uh, an infection map, and uh, a way for people to support each other uh, in the UK. To the right, we have uh, COVID OK, which is a uh, Oklahoma-focused uh, coronavirus information app with charts tracking cases and uh, resources along with guidelines from the CDC um, so people can uh, learn about symptoms and uh, get other official information. And then here's a super specific one that we thought that was pretty interesting is um, this is an app created by and for Canadians who are stranded in the Philippines right now so they can get information um, and kind of communicate with each other and uh, track information about their return home. So. Good luck, and we hope to see you guys back in North America soon. We've seen apps built by uh, maker communities. So uh, in the center, this is a 3D design catalog app with objects that you can 3D print, all related to the pandemic. So these are different face shields and components for face shields. And uh, you can find uh, deals on filaments and printers. So you can print your own equipment and print equipment to help others. This is a uh, an app called DIY Masks, all about uh, creating masks at home, how you can wear masks, how you can uh, care for your mask and clean it correctly. Um, and then on the right, this is super interesting. This is called Army of Masks, and this is a community that um, tracks individuals and communities and institutions that need masks. And they are building masks at home together. Their goal is to build 10,000 and it looks like they're at around a third of their mask goal. Here's some other miscellaneous apps. So this one, Save Your Bookstore, uh, lets people submit their local bookstore so you can support them while they're closed by ordering books online from them or contacting them directly. Um, this one is uh, a way to commemorate frontline heroes. Uh, so if you know somebody that you want to celebrate who has um, performed heroic feats uh, in the face of this crisis, you can submit them here to commemorate them. And then this is pretty interesting. This app is called Zoomies, and these are uh, Zoom-based community meetups. So there's religious groups, dance parties, knitting clubs, happy birthday clubs if you're having a birthday while you're in quarantine, and here's a virtual comedy night. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to highlight a few of the really creative and touching Glide apps people have been making and we'll share a link to uh, our full catalog of the ones that have been submitted by our community so you can check them out and support them. Thanks.